Welcome to Grandma Olivia's Corner. Today, I'll be reading The Magic School Bus Inside a Volcano. Do you know Miss Frizzle? She's a very funny teacher. Her dresses are funny. Our bus is funny too. It's the magic school bus. We are learning about volcanoes. Tim made one out of clay. He gets ready to set it off. But Tim is not happy. This is just a toy, he says. I want it to work like a real volcano. Miss Frizzle says, let's go see one. It's fizzy. No, it's frizzy. To the bus. A word from Dorothy Ann. A volcano is an opening in the earth where very hot or melted rock comes out. There are always surprises with the fizz. When we get on the bus, it starts changing. Where are we going? To the other side of the earth. I guess we'll have to fly. Guess again. We have a magic school drill. The magic school drill digs into the earth. We go through the earth's crust. It is most likely made of rock. Excuse me, it is mostly made of rock. We're digging through rock. I'd rather hear rock than dig through it. It's getting hotter as we go deeper. Next, we go into the earth's mantle. It is also made of rock, very, very hot rock. Is this bus very, very air conditioned? Be cool, Arnold. Question, is the earth like a peach? Yes and no. The earth is not a fruit, but the layers of the earth are like the parts of a peach. The skin is the crust. The fruit is the mantle. And the pit is the core. Earth temperatures. The crust is 900 to 3,000 degrees Celsius. The outer core is 3,000 to 4,000 degrees Celsius. And the inner core is 3,000 to 6,500 degrees Celsius. Miss Frizzle keeps drilling. Now we're at the center of the earth, she says. It is called the core. Class, the outer core is liquid metal. My book says the inner core is solid metal. The core is even hotter than the mantle. It is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Miss Frizzle, get us out of here. We drill out of the core and through the mantle again. Now we're on the other side of the earth. We're close to the crust. We're under a big volcano. We see a giant hot puddle. Miss Frizzle gives us heat proof suits. That goo is red. It's hot. It's messy. It's magma. Magma is very hot. These suits will protect you, says Miss Frizzle. Then she shouts, jump in, kids. What is magma? By Wanda. Magma is melted rock. Magma is found in pockets inside the earth. The pockets are under or within the earth's crust. 
Tim is the first one in. I want to see magma up close, he says. What is that rumbling sound? Good question. Let's find the answer. My stomach is rumbling too. We look around. The magma is rising higher. The rumbling sound is getting louder. What will happen when the hole fills up? Let's watch from our bus and find out. Couldn't we watch it on video instead? More magma fills the pocket. It pushes us up. We blast up into a tunnel. Volcano by Tim. The inside of a volcano looks like this. It has vent, lava flow, the pipe, magma pocket, earth's crust. The volcano is going to erupt. What does that mean? Explode, blow its top, shoot us sky high. We shoot into the air. We float on a thick cloud of ash. Then the bus lands on a river of lava. When magma hits the air, it's called lava. When a school bus hits the lava, it is called scary. This lava is red hot. This lava is moving. We look around. The volcano is on an island. The island is made of lava, lava that turned to rock. Bus, do your stuff. But the lava below us hasn't turned to rock yet. The lava is moving too fast. It is taking us to the ocean. This is no time for a swim. Lava is behind us. A giant wave is in front of us. We are trapped. Watch out by Keisha. When a volcano erupts, it may cause giant waves. These are called tsunamis. How to say tsunami? Tsunami. The frizz hits a button and we lift into the air. Now the bus is the magic school helicopter. We're going up. We're going away. Hooray! We fly over a lot of islands. Miss Frizzle says they are all volcanoes. They all look different. No two volcanoes are the same. My volcano is a sitter cone. I'd rather have an ice cream cone. Back at school, we make lots of models. There are different kinds of volcanoes, Tim says, but there's only one Miss Frizzle. It takes brains to understand volcanoes. It takes more brains to understand Miss Frizzle's dress. I hope you enjoyed the magic school bus inside a volcano. If you're interested, ask your parents to take you to the library and check out more of the magic school bus adventures.